Welcome to the channel. Yep, you're right back at Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we get down with reviews. We're going to be breaking this new story that's trending on page six and all social media platforms that afforded to get the um, tea dropped on them. And they wanted to write up an article on none other than a celebrity wilding out. Yes, they wilding out on planes, trains, automobiles, okay, and even uh, on boats, all right, but we're talking about this rapper, this famous, well-known rapper, okay, back in the 80s, he was blowing up, yes, this celebrity we're talking about is none other than a rapper, he had his feel in the acting field as well, y'all probably saw him in Scream, I can't think of any other movies, but, you know, he was, like I said, he was busting it out in um, the 80s and 90s, I'm talking about none other than Busta Rhymes, Yes, he done seen and worked with a lot of well-known celebrities and music artists, namely one, Mariah Carey. Yes, okay. That's all I can think of at the top of my head. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, but we're going to break into the story that Page Six put out on one of their um, columns. Uh, they broke out the lady who... Um, got it or wrote up the article on Buster Rhymes was none other than Lindsay Cooper or Cupfer. Okay? So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, that like button, and we'll continue on. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to me. Tell others about me. Share my videos. Like my videos. But then again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to me. Okay? Let's get into this article. All hell broke loose from what I'm reading. Okay? What I'm reading on social media that flew up in my uh, DMs, okay? Uh, page six is alleging Buster Rhymes flips out on passengers on flight to London. Now, I'm like, okay, was he in a frugal type of first class? Was he in business first class? Or was, I don't know, because I, I have some uh, video footages in here about the economy frugal class that has a first class section. I don't know what is going on. But the whole point was one of the passengers put their luggage or their, um, what do you call it, carry-on luggage in the compartments above the seats in his area. Now, I'm like, I don't know if she was white. I don't know if she was black. I don't know if she was a princess from another country. Was she Asian or was she Arab? I don't know. Okay, that is the question. I guess it's not neither here nor there relevant. All right. Oh, thing we know Buster Ryan had got on some female. Got on him her so bad. It was a her, not a him. The uh, husband had to step up and try to calm Buster Rhymes down because they didn't know where he was coming from. Why was he just going off highly? I mean, you in first class, Buster Ryan, you're supposed to have some cool about yourself or some professionalism about yourself. You don't know what cool is, okay? He wasn't acting civilized from what they were reporting in the story. He was mad, agitated. Very frustrated and wanted to know. He stood up in the middle of the. I'm a. Uh, this is what I'm visualizing. He done stood up in the middle of the plane in his first class section and forcing people to say who put luggage up under his seat or his compartment in his first class section. I'm like, really, Buster Ryan? You'll be behind up there starting trouble like that. Hell, I'll be scared of you too. But you should have been talking to the man of that wife and not that wife or that woman. Because that just shows me you're trying to disrespect a female, whether they're married, they're single, widow, or whatever. This is a female you're talking to. Doesn't matter what her nationality is, what her race. We're just saying, bust a rhyme. Okay, maybe you thought it was a dude and you already was hyped and you just wanted to bust some balls or something. I don't know. Okay, but when you found out that the lady was so terrified and scared, you know how we get when we play victim, when we know we don't did some foul shit and hoping nobody find out about it, but when we get caught, oh, we got to cry, we got to be shaking in our boots, we got to act like we are vulnerable, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, women, y'all know y'all get to it, and then y'all don't bit out more than you could chew, we sit there and cry, we, we want people to, uh, Feel sorry for us just because we made a tiny little mistake or mischaracter of judgment on taking somebody else's space. Well, Buster Ryan said, hey, I don't pay about two or three thousand dollars. We fly into London. I wanted all of my comedies or 
amenities and I didn't want nobody to use it. Now, you could at least ask me. I would have told you no straight up. Go go find your own. Or you should have your own. Or you shouldn't have bought so much luggage that you couldn't, you know, keep in a cargo storage hall. You know what I'm saying? No. no. His brother just got upset, was going through a whole temper tantrum, and he just wanted answers. And when he found out the answers that he was searching for, he still didn't care. He still got on the lady like it wasn't nobody's business. But let's get on into this article so I can find a little bit more clarity. Because usually I just skim it, the article or whatever that's being, uh, what do you call it, um, shimmied or surfaced on my uh what do you call it? My um, hey, my lead. Well, it's not a lead. It's like my feed, I guess. My uh, YouTube feed or my um, feed news for entertainment. It came across my uh, phone. And I was like, okay, we might do that story. It looks like a pretty good story. Why don't we just talk about it? I don't know. But uh, it was relatable. Um, I couldn't do nothing but like, damn, why did it have to be a black man up there acting a fool? On a female, you know, they always think y'all aggressive, and then you might even get looked at when the plane take off if it would take off, and they're gonna hold you. <laughs> and that basically, from what I'm reading, they did they had that stuff held, okay, held on August the 2nd. Uh, no, it did the story broke on July 31st, but I'm just getting it today. But they like, we ain't finna fly no friendly skies and be tanned up shit up in the air. No, we ain't finna do that. The pilot's like, no, we ain't flying nowhere till we get this situation under control. Did anybody take uh, any illicit drugs? Did anybody drink too much alcohol? Or anybody had some trauma they went to before boarding this flight? Um, can we get some answers to these questions? Okay, because I'm not taking y'all up no some. So many thousand feet in the air and y'all cutting up, want to fight, and then I had to break it up. Okay? And who going to fly the plane? That's what I'm talking about. But getting into this article that uh, Lindsay Cooper had blessed us with today, yes, give her uh, credit. She's the journalist or she's the commentary person that wrote up this article for Page Six's magazine or their YouTube show or whatever they're doing over there. Okay, kudos to her. But it goes in to say, Buster Rhymes has been accused of shouting at another passenger doing a flight to London for putting her belongings in his first class luggage space. Okay, like he bought it, like that's his plane. I'm like, come on, no, you're renting that space for a temporary time till you land in London and you uh, deport or you, you um, what do you call it? We call it, yeah, be poured off the plane, you know, or, or get off the plane, however you want to say it. <sighs> but he wasn't having it, okay? He said that was his spot, his thing. Nobody should be in now. That's his area. He, it, we're not in jail. We're not in a cell. We're free to roam however we want to, but somebody need to get their crap out of my space, okay? That's pretty much what he was saying. He was upset. <clears throat> Okay, according to DailyMail.com, the rapper, who's 47, boarded a flight at JFK Airport on Monday evening and became agitated, aggressive, and rude to a woman who had stored her luggage in his compartment. Now, I'm thinking, wait a minute, Buster Ryan. Now, it could have been like a little misunderstanding. Maybe she thought she had the whole row. Maybe she thought she had one and two, three, four, and yours was five, six, seven. She thought, well, okay, man, I just put my shoe luggage on in five and six. Okay, but if I get caught, I know I'm how to move this shit. All right. But she wasn't expecting. She thought she was going to get away with it. You know how we do sometimes. But uh, Buster, I was agitated. I'm like, Buster, was you agitated before you got on the plane? Was you aggressive and rude prior to finding out what person, what gender, Put they mess up in your rented space of cabin compartments. Okay, what, 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 what it work? I know, you know, I get mad too when somebody jump in front of me when I'm driving down the road. You know what I'm saying? I get mad when folks be in the grocery store and they be calling themselves looking for something. I need to get past them to get to the section that I need. Like we're in the bread aisle. I need to get down to them hot dog buns and they sitting up in my way looking at the hamburger buns and the, and the light bread and all this shit. And I'm sitting up there like, lady, will you move? A man, will you get the hell out of my way? Don't you see I'm trying to get where I need to go? Oh, Lord. I, I, I felt that. I felt that agitation. So I'm thinking, Buster, baby, 
what happened prior to aboarding that plane, okay? Aboarding the plane, what happened prior to that for you to get such an agitated state and aggressiveness toward this moment, okay? But we read on. We're going to read on, y'all. Buster got on the plane and saw that this woman had put her luggage in his section of of the overhead locker, a fellow passenger told the website, adding that he demanded to know whose bag it was. This British woman stood up and said the bags belonged to her. I know she was scared looking at big ass Buster Rhymes up there. Big black man. Okay. From who? Samunda or Dumunda or Yujunda, whoever you want to call it. He was he was looking mad. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wanna look up that. And when you wake up, you don't wanna look at that. Trying to call yourself, you know, you know what I'm saying? You just don't want to look at it. <laughs> Not trying to get up in your ass, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. And you know what? Personally, the husband of that British woman should have been standing up saying, that's my wife's luggage, and what do it be to you? Oh, got something to that fact. I need men to act like men and stand up for their women and start letting the women take, you know, the uh, fall. Even though we probably did something that we had no business, tap us on the hand. Okay, charge to our head, not our hearts. Because we just like that sometimes. We just bring too much shit on a trip, whether it's for business or it's for pleasure. We do. We, we, we pack too much, okay? Because we don't know what type of tire we need to be in from this day to that day, okay? So, okay, moving on from that. That was my spiel, not in this article. But anyway, the lady stood up and said it was hers. He was ranting and raving, getting really angry and demanded to know why she had used his locker. Well, in her mind, she said, well, why not? <laughs> you know how women are busting. You don't have wise girlfriends. You know how we get when we traveling. You didn't have to understand why. You just need to say, okay, whoever luggage this is, I'm going to give y'all five minutes to come depart. From my upper space luggage compartment, okay? And we're going to act like it ain't never happened, but I'm telling y'all, do not mess with me on this flight because I ain't here for it, all right? And I'm not in the mood, so give me a couple of hours to wind down, have me a few cocktails, and then we may forget the whole situation, okay? That's how he could have handled it, but he just went off. They, he went off on that lady, okay? But that was my spiel. Let me get back to the article, okay? Uh, The passenger continued... He told her to move her stuff immediately. He began shouting and behaving extremely aggressively. And the woman was getting more and more upset. Well, she didn't have no uh, business getting upset. But you know how we are. We got to throw them waterworks on. We got to throw them tears. We got to be shaking in our boots. We got to be shaking like we don't have this anxiety thing you know, going on. And probably faint if need be. <laughs> but that was my pun intended. My side boy, y'all know how I get down. I got to express my opinion when I be hearing and seeing stuff that just don't sound cultural. You know what I'm saying? It just don't mesh up with what the story they're trying to give us. But anyway, she began to cry. And as she got more and more tearful, her husband intervened and told him he needn't be so rude to his wife. He said that he was upsetting her when she was clearly happy to move her things. Now, when was brother going to step up? After she had the waterworks tears or... After she said, oh, the luggage belonged to me. That's a punk husband of hers. I'll be fussing at him the rest of the trip for not standing up and taking that hit from me. You should have said it was yours, man. You my husband. You my protector. You're supposed to support me regardless if I'm acting stupid or not. Or if I'm stealing space from somebody else or not. You're supposed to have said it was yours. And you and him get into that uh, altercation. You had me sitting there looking like a fool. And all this. And you, what kind of man are you? No, that's would have been me. <laughs> but no, it would have been me. Because my man, he know how I roll. And I know how he roll. It wouldn't be no disrespect like that. You know, any man come talking to me and I'm with my man. I'm like, handle that, okay? And let him handle that. And if it was a female, I would have to handle that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, it, it just wasn't right. I don't know. That's why I said that man couldn't have been black. He couldn't have been black. He couldn't have been black. Black folk be ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they feel disrespected. <laughs> you give us a lot of education. We already know the law. We already know how to, you know, maneuver through the situation. And then we know how to fight. That's a triple threat right now. But anyway, moving on. Okay, it says when the overnight flight landed at Heathrow Airport in London on early Tuesday morning, okay, Metropolitan Police was there waiting. Now, you know, there were a big black man sitting up there fussing with somebody, probably that Caucasian or some other, other ethnicity, you know, other than the brown flavor. Yeah, they had somebody wait because you what? Them probably, them people were probably 
trying to go there for business or pleasure, but they had money to spend. You know what I'm saying? And they know, hey, we ain't got you now. We got to get on to this flight. We got to move on. We got to shake some tail feathers. But once we land, bro, once we land, it's on. It's on like popcorn. It ain't going to be me. I'm going to put the authorities on you. That's right. The popo going to be waiting for you. You don't know it yet, but I already called ahead. I already text my folk. You're going to be waiting to be incarcerated. <laughs> That's probably what that, uh, I want to say British. I didn't want to go with the British. If they were going to London, let's just say they were some British passengers. Okay, maybe they were going back home. All right? I don't know. But he probably said, we're going to get your behind. You're going to be in our world now. Okay? Because you know that Europe, they be getting up something awful over there. All right? They be locking you up. You ain't getting out. You got to have a pardon for the president to get you from over there. So, Mr. Ryan better be scared. He better be, he should have been apologizing, saying he had a lot on his chest, on his mind. Prior to them landing, you know what I'm saying? Then it might have been a little difference of a misunderstanding, a difference of opinion. You know what I'm saying? When they opened up them cabin doors for people to be departed out, you know what I'm saying? But now nah, I didn't go that way because, like I said, they had already called the police and they were waiting on Popo, were waiting on Buster Rhymes to waltz his little big behind out of that plane. All right, but anyway, that's my spiel, not in the article now. Okay. All right, officers at Heathrow were requested by the airline of an inbound plane to Heathrow Airport from the U.S. to attend following an alleged verbal altercation involving several passengers. Now, when I read this story, it wasn't about no seven. Where was passengers when he was sitting up there trying to show his authority, like confronting everybody that was in first class? Who the hell got his stuff? Who, who the hell got their stuff in his rented, leased compartments? over his section that he rented to fly out to London to have the business of players. I don't know which one, you know what I'm saying? So I guess he did involve everybody until somebody wanted to confess. So, okay, he harassed everybody for a while, for a minute, for a second. But when he got the person that, the uh, the hit, what do you call it, the hit dog, holler, he, he um pretty much stayed attention and focused on them too, mostly the wife, okay? But anyway, getting back to the, um, the article, it said um, they were there. The police was on site to investigate an alleged, alleged verbal altercation involving seven passengers. A spokesperson for the Metropolitan Police told us on Wednesday, though declining to confirm names of passengers involved, they boarded the plane once it had landed and spoke to the parties involved. There were no reported injuries and no offenses disclosed. The spokesperson continued the passengers concerned then proceeded with their journeys. In an earlier statement to page six, <coughs> British Airlines said, our customers and crews deserve to enjoy their flights and not to suffer any form of abuse. This sort of behavior would not be tolerated and then the appropriate action will always be taken. Okay, that was about the airplanes, the airport, and bus rhymes, y'all. That's what it was about. Airplanes, airport, and bus rhymes. But they forgot to say British passengers and popo. <laughs> that's what they forgot that is what they forgot to say and like I said I don't know maybe Bus Ryan paid them off but I don't know if he got no money because he's allegedly being sued by Sugar Hill and the gang and you know he had um, he had did some got in a fight with somebody back in the I don't know but he's been having some negativity surrounding him on all, all, all basis okay you need to put the armor of God on him and walk proudly but he need to repent. He need to repent for fussing at that poor lady because he know how women are. He should know how women are. We shop. We take too many clothes when we going out and um and on vacation, business trip. It don't matter. You say trip, okay, we're going to be, uh, and you say we only going to be there for the weekend here. We don't pack for two weeks. You know what I'm saying? It's just in our nature. That's what we are. Love us or leave us. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that going to change? Ain't nothing going to change. But y'all, I thought I'd break that Buster Rhymes uh, report. Uh, gossip news, it's entertainment news, celebrity news, however you want to look at it. I thought it was enjoyable. Kind of what the Buster Ryan doing up there so many thousand feet, cutting up in the air. You know what I'm saying? Stopping around. Gonna tear that whole plane down. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm glad he was, he was in first class, honey. If he was in coach, they probably would have been fighting. <laughs> they probably would have been fighting. Because them folks were already too close for comfort. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the day probably wasn't trying to have it. It wasn't what a two what man two day flight, one day flight. 
I mean, come on. Uh-uh. They ain't want to hear that. They ain't want to hear none of that noise. Just sit your behind down in your seat. Go to sleep. Put some headphones on and, and regress. Okay? Get you some shot of alcohol or whatever because every day you was upset before you got on this plane. Got on this plane. Okay? Keep it real. Keep it real, Buster Wild. Keep it real. But that's all I have for this story. Enjoyed breaking it down to you all. Thank you, Page Six, for giving me something to talk about. And we'll get down with some more videos a little later. Okay? Peace and blessings. Enjoy. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.